Hi, Bernadette. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am great. It is always so exciting when we get you on our TV screens. I am so excited about this series. I want to know what initially drew you to this character and this role in the series. Well, you know, I get these, a, a script will come across my kitchen table and I'm reading it and this one came across and I went, this is one of the best things that I've read in I don't know how long. So um, I just said, gosh, and Patricia Arquette is in it and it's so original and it's so irreverent and I just have to be in it. So here I am. <laughs> Here you are, thank God. You mentioned Patricia Arquette, and you have a lot of scenes with her, so what was it like filming with her for the series? You know, she's a brilliant actress, and now she's she's funny in this. It was it was remarkable just to be with somebody so so great and and a privilege. And I all of my scenes basically were with Patricia, with maybe some other people here and there, but um I just adore her. I fell in love with her, her creativity, her artistry, and her fun to be in the moment with her. And uh, was it couldn't be better. Yeah, I mean, so much of your role is sort of exploring this woman's really serious bond with her mother. What was it like exploring those themes throughout the series? Well, it was great. It was great to have that love. It was like another love story. Her mother was her rock. Her mother was her, her, uh, her champion. Her mother was uh, her soulmate, basically. So to do those scenes where you're so connected with someone, where you have so much fun with someone, where you're so close to someone, and you just you, you don't want to be any place else in the world but with that person. It was it was wonderful to explore, and of course, to be with Patricia was you know great. And the series has such an excellent tone. It's funny. It's spicy. It's exciting. It's like intense. What was it like on set filming the series and exploring that tone? Well, um, it was great. You know, we, the writers were on the set, and sometimes they throw lines at us, and we would do different lines, you know, have another line. If a, if a scene needed a line, and they're such great writers, it'd be funny lines. But, you know, the whole, the whole show is kind of irreverent because Peggy, Patricia's character, is an ex-junkie who's still popping pills, who is on a methadone treatment, and then her mother dies, and now she's spiraling, and now she's trying to get back on her feet, but within all of that and the crazy things that she chooses to do, she's grieving the loss of her mother. So there's a real thread that goes throughout that's very heartfelt and, and, and beautiful. And just, you know, it's encouraging for people to, to see someone try to overcome obstacles, even if they put them there themselves, and trying to move forward and, and not be stuck. So it's, it's hopeful in that, in that respect. Yeah, definitely. And I don't want to give too much away, but there is a certain theatrical event about halfway through the season. What was it like getting to bring that to the TV screen? That was so fun. I mean, there's this, here's this other person that is uh, it's very self-involved and, and very narcissistic and and a heat-seeking missile for any attention she can get, no matter where it is or whatever place it is and uh, has an elevated uh, uh, exam uh, elevated feeling about herself so uh, and an actress <laughs> so that was fun to play as you can see it's a really great neighbor oh yeah it's a great park the house the has great phones oh I'm sorry would you excuse me what the hell happened hit and run. I'm never going to that Walmart again. We supported you while mommy was here, but it ain't happening anymore. I, I told you, I'm a private investigator now. You're just gonna have to hustle. I need a hustle. No, to hustle. This is the time, Peg. You're a phoenix, baby. I know. What are you supposed to be? A real PI? What are you playing at? I'm not hiring. I'm a natural detective. You need me, and I need this job. Be here Monday morning at 9 a.m. I don't get up before 11. When I 
had money. We all had money. From dealing drugs. It was a little pot, maybe some hash. There was cocaine. Well, that was much later, and I did it. I didn't sell it. Oh, wow. Okay, calm down. Good comes from bad, but I need that thing that I've always missed. You got some oxy? <laughs> no! I'm on methadone, creep. You don't think things are going to change that fast. But they do. I worry that the next time I come out here is going to be for my sister's funeral. Fire in the hole! You're at the point of no return. The scope of this thing could put us on the map. What? What are you looking at? Get out of here!